ice, it expands. And when it melts from ice to liquid water, it contracts. Um, that's because water molecules have positive areas and negative areas. Now, you can't see it well on these pictures, but the little, the little uh, molecules right there, the little hydrogens, they are negative, okay? And the bigger blobs that are oxygen molecules, those are positives. And as the molecules in liquid water uh, come and bond together to become ice, those water molecules turn so that the negatives and positives line up. And in order to do that, they need extra space. So there becomes this empty space all around the molecules, okay? And that is where the room is taken up. So ice actually expands when it freezes. Um, this is why you don't put a bottle of water or a bottle of soda in a freezer and leave it there, especially if it's capped, because it will basically burst, and I don't mean explode, it's not combustible. It will burst through the, uh, usually through the top, through the cap. It just pushes it right off and it expands out of the bottle. So you never want to put a bottle of water or liquid like that in a freezer in a closed container because, well, it'll just end up destroying your container and then you'll have stuff all over the place. Okay, that's about it for the states of matter and um, temperature and heat absorption and heat loss and all that fun stuff. So now you're going to have some fun activities the next couple of days. Uh, you're going to see some different things with this material. So have fun with it and uh, talk to you later. Bye.